To more local news now, Governor Evers visited Green Bay this afternoon announcing millions of dollars in grant money. And some of that money is going toward efforts to relocate coal that is now on the Fox River near downtown Green Bay. And NBC 26 has been spoke with city officials about the plan. We don't want this kind of you know, nuisance in, the, in our, our downtown core adjacent to our neighborhoods any longer. Towers of coal have lined part of the downtown Green Bay Riverfront for decades, but now a lump sum of cash may move those piles to a different location. This isn't just a once in a lifetime opportunity, it is truly a once in a city's lifetime opportunity. Governor Tony Evers visited Northeast Wisconsin on Thursday to announce a $15 million grant to help relocate the coal away from the Mason Street Bridge area. This is a project I know the folks here in Green Bay and Brown County have been working on for a while now. Green Bay Mayor Eric Genrick says the goal is to convince the Sea Rise Company, which owns the coal, to swap locations to the old Pulliam Power Plant at the mouth of the river, just a few miles north of the piles. As for the current coal pile location... We have talked about carving off at least the, the northernmost 10 acres for mixed-use downtown style development with access, obviously, to the river. Brown County has committed to buy the Pulliam site with intentions to trade it for Sea Rise's 35 riverfront acres. Our, our plan in collaboration with the county is to, to make possible um, for light industrial non-nuisance economic development to occur with that, that southern two-thirds of the property. Still, Mayor Genrick says it's up to the city to reach a deal with the coal company. We are obviously in the next phases of the discussions with the Sea Rice Coal uh, Company and ultimately in order for us to even have this conversation, we needed to be able to do the build out. Even if a deal isn't done, the Brown County Executive reports the Pulliam plant land is prepped for heavy duty work. These dollars are not just benefiting Greater Green Bay or Brown County. This is actually benefiting the whole region. In Green Bay, Ben Boken, NBC 26.